Hey there guys, this is Reckles with Want to Buy Gold, and I am here on my glyph posting tune. Her name is I Post Glyphs. She's a noble woman. Uh, she's very fancy. She even has the key to the city. So what we're doing today is something a little bit special, a little bit more low-key than normal. Um, I wanted to show you guys my glyph posting results. Uh, so this is... Uh, everything, oh wait, let's, let's turn this into all. So if you go to your, if you open up TSM and you go into accounting and items, you can sort by groups and you can see how many of each item sold. So, uh, for like, we can tell that just right off the bat, Glyph of Stars, everyone loves Glyph of Stars. Shh. We can see, I'm filming here, we can see the Glyph of Sentinel uh, sold almost as much, but it sold for more than 10 times the amount. So, like, I want to make sure I keep Glyph of the Sentinel stocked pretty much above anything else. Um, there, you can sort by average sale price. I can see that Glyph of the Burnout sold for 9,000 gold. Um, I can also see this uh, really painful tab over here how many times it's failed since the last sale glyph of the hook is not an exciting glyph um and in fact if you sort by uh number sold uh, like this is interesting uh information that might be useful more to m maybe more to the developers where uh if I were designing new glyphs for the game, I could look at this and see that, like, what is it about these, and even more so the ones that I've never sold one of, what about these is not exciting, doesn't pique people's interest, and what about these does? Now, some of these, you might, you might just say right off the bat that... Uh, Glyph of the Orca and uh, Glyph of the Cheetah, sure, they change your your appearance, but they're also cheap. And uh, cheap has something to do with it. But honestly, like, let's, let's sort by uh, sale price, and we can see that cheap, Glyph of Honor, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to sell. There's lots of these down here that I only have two or three of sold, and then there are a bunch up here where I've got 13 sold, 11 sold. Now, just covering covering my butt real quick, uh, I haven't been as awesome at posting these as I should have been. I've only probably posted about once a week. You could stalk me on, on the Undermine Journal if you want. You need something? But uh, my, my general thought was I'd get a, a stack of all of a stack of 20 of every glyph and you may have remembered you may remember when I was actually doing this live on stream it was super fun um so I farmed up the mats for all of these so this is all profit for me um now we're going to go do something see you around I'm going to cover my ass a little bit more because, honestly, like, I feel like these numbers should be higher. I haven't broken 100 glyphs sold on any of these, so I just, uh, let, me, let me throw out some excuses real quick. Okay, so here we are in WoW Auction, and I just wanted... The, the server that all of almost all of my characters are on is Tanaris slash Greymane, and it is not the best server. You could go to Realm Pop to get an idea, but honestly, um, some realms that are the same size have the same number of players, maybe don't have the same number of max level players, and those players may not be really interested in posting things up on the auction house. Uh, my server is 189th out of a total of 246 auction houses. So, is that, I mean... I'm not going to move as much product, but I'll probably sell it for more than if you're playing on, like, Dalaran or something. So, my goals in here are to increase the n amount of gold I can make with glyphs going into BFA, because we are getting contracts, and while contracts are going to be super exciting, no one really knows how popular they're going to be. 
Uh, so glyphs will probably still be a core part of your gold making potential uh, with inscription. So uh, let's analyze these numbers a little bit and see if we can learn anything that either increases the amount of total gold we'll make or uh, increase how much how how much I'm able to post. All right, so here we are in Google Excel, and uh, well, this is all the same information you saw in TSM. I just typed it out, um, but let's actually do some analysis and look at totals. So here, just added a revenue column for you guys, and uh, you can see that in total. I have made 1.9 million gold in the data that I've been tracking. I don't know if I reset that or not, but let's just pretend this is over the course of the entire expansion. I've made 2 million gold. My first thought is, that's only 2 million gold. It's kind of underwhelming. Uh, my second thought is, I would have made a lot more if I'd posted, if, if I'd posted more often, if I posted at the start of the expansion, uh, and if I actually focused on my priest and got her the rare recipes first. A lot of these really, really expensive recipes that I made, you know, 50 to 200,000 gold on each recipe, it would have been better, I would have made so much more gold if I'd grinded out the reps on my priest right away. So definitely, that's one of the first things I'm gonna do in Legion. I'm gonna knock out any new glyph recipes right off the bat, uh, so I can just increase the quantity sold on the newer recipes. Something else I'm kinda curious about though, is that a lot of these, like, you know, glyph of the spectral wolf aside, a lot of these, in the past year or two, I've only made 500 gold on. Which, like, sure, that, like, may, does, my question here is, would it be worth it to just not post any of these new ones, or any of these old ones, and just focus on the new ones? So, I'm going to make another copy of the spreadsheet and find out what my total is for all the uh, silly old world recipes. Okay, here we go. And I zoomed in a little bit for anyone who has bad eyesight. Uh, so, from Certificate of Ownership and Cheaper, I made 137,000 gold. From all the current content glyphs, I made 1.8 million. That's just... Gosh, that's so much more. That's... That's... I, I was expect... Honestly, expecting this... To be higher so like maybe keep so what I do with this information is I'd make I'd split all my glyphs into a subgroup where uh, I'd put um, current content glyphs and uh, also I'd I'd also include glyph of cheetah glyph of stars shadowy fiends uh, let's see Spectral Wolf, or Soakdral Wolf, um, and that's really it. None of this other stuff I really care about. Um, and then I'd still get, let's see what would happen with just those four. So this, plus this, oh my gosh, I can't type. All right, and Spectral Wolf. Okay, so that's 54K, so I'm missing out on a bunch of odds and ends, but I get 54K and I get some movement. I'd get that constant revenue that you kind of want when you, you want something to sell when you open your mailbox. Um, and then rather than making 1.9 thousand, I'd be making uh, this plus 54 thousand. I'd be, I'd be losing, I'd be losing about 4% off my potential revenue, but I wouldn't be posting about a hundred, what is this? There's 40, so 80, yeah. I wouldn't be posting 80 glyphs 
a day. And so my cancel scans would go faster. My postings would go faster. I would be l more inclined to actually log into my glyph posting tune and push that product. So this number would actually be higher. If I posted 50% more often, I would have, I would have made 2.8 million. Like that's, it's, it's all about staying the cheapest for as long as possible. So, you know what? Let's, let's go do that because uh, there might be something that uh, new people to TSM might be able to learn uh, from, this, from uh, this group creation thing. Okay, so uh, we'll pull this up. We'll go back into Glyphs and we'll make a subgroup uh, called uh, Legion and Cells. <laughs> Best name ever. So the ones that actually sold were the cheetah. We'll add that. Uh, stars. We'll add that. Uh, shadowy. Friends. And certificate of ownership. And uh, what was the other one? Um, ah, yes, Soaked Roll Wolf. Did Spectral Raptor, let's find Spectral Raptor because I have a feeling, sort sheet A to Z, I have a feeling it sold pretty well too. Not as well. Oh, Spectral Raptor is, is a Legion glyph. Okay, so. Uh, those are the only old world recipes I want to focus on, and now let's look. Uh, I could go through. Um, I could go through my alk, my my inscription, and just go through item by item and like look at the materials. But here's what I'm actually gonna do. If you go to Trade Skill Master. Uh, you can go to Auctions, Groups, and View All Groups. And I'm going to look for... I'm going to just type in Glyphs. And see if there's one Legion Inscription and Glyph Items. Let's see if that... Uh, they're all sorted... There's no, ah, here we go. Glyphs that use roseate pigment and sallow pigment. Awesome. So, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna just search through. All right, I don't want light parchment in here. I don't want light parchment, sallow pigment, or roseate pigment in this list. I just want the glyphs. So, I'm gonna go to Wowhead and search for roseate pigment. And then I'm going to see what it's a reagent for and filter these by glyph. All right. So then we can just copy. We'll just copy all this down to here. And then we'll go into TSM and we'll create a new group. You just copy and paste that, and then we go to page two, and uh, we just do the same thing. We copy, and we paste. So now we should have everything except for, you know what? Uh, Legion glyphs. And we're gonna save this group. And it still put light parchment and sallow pigment in there. Well, that's super annoying. But whatever, this is awesome. This is so much easier than going in and doing it manually. And we can just go ahead and uh, take the first four out in WoW. All right, so import, export, import string. And then we'll go to the very beginning of this. Can 
Can I do home? All right. So we'll go after the comma, and we'll delete one, two, three. And make sure. One, two, three. All right. Let's only import items from parent group, just to be safe. All right, and there we go. We've got a full populated list. Um, and finally, I'm going to go ahead and apply my... I've got this on normal and I'm gonna turn all the other glyphs off. I'm not gonna sell them. So now, we're good to go. We're gonna save a whole bunch of time on the auction house, um, and we'll make just as much, if not more gold. So, uh, I, I hope this was a interesting look into kind of how to optimize your time, because time is money, friend. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching, have a great day, subscribe. If you want to, like the video. If uh, me rambling about spreadsheets was at all fun. Uh, but other than that, have a great day, guys. Good luck and happy gold making. At this time, I think you should purchase me an alcoholic beverage and engage in diminutive conversation with me in hopes of establishing a rapport. <laughs>